हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज डिजिटल मैराथन डिजिथॉन सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू गिव यू 42 चैलेंजेस एंड देयर इज अ सेपरेट सॉल्यूशन सीरीज आल्सो एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ आवर 7th चैलेंज एंड नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड एंड सी द सॉल्यूशन friends before getting the solution let us see what was a problem statement here we have to draw a digital logic diagram of a serial pair bs7 checker now let me reveal its solution friends before revealing the logic diagram of a pair bs checker i want to tell you the pair bs7 pattern generator first so this is the pair bs7 generator we have discussed it in dithon part 6 in detail this is the characteristic equation of pair bs7 x is to power 7 plus x is to power 6 plus 1 and this is the generator diagram we tap sixth and seventh point give them to the xor and xor output is applied to the input of first flip flop so this is how we form the pair bs7 pattern generator friends one very important point that we should catch here when first and second bit we do xoring then 8 bit is formed friends and other very very important point about prbs patterns especially prbs 7 pattern here all the possible combinations of 7 bits will appear at this 7 flip flops so with 7 bits there are 2 raised to power 7 combinations possible so all the combinations will appear at the output of this flip flops and the exception is all the flip flop outputs will never go zero at the same time that means the number zero is the exception otherwise all the other possible combinations of 7 bits will appear at the output of these flip flops whenever this data moves on so these two points will use to form the checker and i will use pair bs 7 pattern generator only to form my checker let me show you how friends this is very well known pair bs7 checker logic diagram which is shown on your screen so i'm trying to utilize pair bs7 generator as i mentioned earlier but instead of applying xor gate output to the input of the first flip flop in the flip flop series i am applying input to the checker to the first flip flop and output of this xor gate i am applying to the input of another xor gate and the input sequence is also applied to the another input of the xor gate and output of this xor gate will act like a error flag let me explain its functionality in detail now friends as i mentioned earlier all the possible combinations of 7 bits will appear in the prbs data so let us assume that the prbs sequence is starting with this these 7 bits 100001 when first bit comes on the pair bs sequence this is applied to the input of first flip flop at the same time as soon as the positive edge of the clock comes this one will be transferred at the output of this first flip flop and the second bit will appear at the pair bs sequence input so this will be applied to the input of first flip flop again and when again third bit comes this one will be transferred at the output of second flip flop this zero will be transferred at the output of first flip flop so here third bit is applied at the prbs in this is the first bit this is the second bit this is third bit now similarly when fourth bit is applied here all these bits will be shifted this is the fourth bit when it appears at prbs in it is applied to the first flip flop and other bits are shifted when fifth bit will be applied all these bits will be shifted so this is the fifth bit other bits are shifted now i will apply the sixth bit sixth bit is applied and other bits are shifted now i will apply the seventh bit friends i have applied the seventh bit and other bits are shifted now we'll apply the eighth bit friends what will be the eighth bit as i already mentioned that when you xor first and second bit it forms a 
8th bit. So if you XOR 0 and 1, the output will be 1. So 8th bit expectation is 1 here. Friends, when the 8th bit is applied, all other bits are shifted. So the first and second bits appears here and XORing operation is done which forms the 8th bit which is 1. And 8th bit is coming from outside also which is again 1. So error flag will go 0 here because input to the XOR gate are same so output will be 0. And after that 9th bit will come and here shifting will happen. So second and third bit will appear here. Exoring of that will form the ninth bit. So error flag should be zero thereafter. Because whatever bits we are form forming after exoring operation, the same is expected from outside. So ideally, if there is no error in the PRBS in sequence, the error flag should, up should be always zero. In short, what do I mean? Whatever bit we are forming with the help of this XOR gate is actually a expected PRBS bit. And the same should appear here if there is no error in the input PRBS sequence. And error flag will be always zero. But the purpose of receiver or checker is not to work for the ideal cases. We need to detect errors with the help of PRBS 7 checker. Now let us see the case if any error bit comes in. So now let us assume that here some erroneous bit comes and this, is, this will differ from the expected bit and hence error flag will go high. Hence whenever there will be erroneous bit in the input PRBS sequence, we will see this error flag toggling. Friends, the same technique is recommended on Intel website. But instead of PRBS 7, they are using PRBS 9. So this is the input PRBS sequence. This is the generator that we have formed. This is the expected bit. And this is the input bit. And this is the XOR gate. So if both the bits match with each other, which is ideal case, the output will be always zero. But as soon as we get erroneous bit at the input sequence, PRBS data in, we'll see the error bits in the output. Friends, as you know, nothing is ideal in this architecture there is a very big flaw, there is a very big limitation that you have to identify and mention it in the comment section so that we can start a discussion in the comment section. Friends, just to avoid the length of the video, I am going to wrap up this video here only and I hope that this video will be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your support.